All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the Benjinator, uh, and this is Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is part 31, and we have just gotten the Dactyls with Ayla. We got transported back into 65 million BC, found Ayla, going after Magus, and now she wants us to go to the Tyranno Lair to rescue her uh, her paramour, I guess, Kino, or just friend with benefits, or just a friend. I don't know what their relationship is exactly. Uh, and so we are going to be heading over there next. But I did take care of a few things. I just want to show you briefly what I did. So I spent a little bit of time in the hunting ground uh, getting uh, a few things, first of all. Um, as you can see, all of my characters now have, except for Ayla because she only has the fist, new weapons. So we got Aeon Blade for Chrono, we got for Marley, we got a Dreambow, we got, we'll still got the Masamune for Frog because the Masamune is awesome. Uh, we got the Magma Hand for Robo. And the Dream Gun for Luca. We're not gonna necessarily going to be using all these, but it costs no money to get this equipment. All you need to do is to get certain items, as we demonstrated last time. And while I'm here, well, okay. Probably should have gotten him a rock helmet, but no matter. Also, one other thing I wanted to show you is that, uh, well, we already know about Chrono and his Lightning too, but now we actually have Cat Attack with Ayla. So now there's actually two double techs that you can use. Um, one is Flame Kick with Luca, which is pretty good, but this is even better, actually, is Volt Bite, and we're going to be using that quite a bit in the next dungeon. It's a combination of Lightning and Cat Attack, and it does tons of damage, pretty close to a thousand, depending on uh, who you're fighting. So, um, one other thing I probably already noticed is I now have Marley in my party. That is because, well, we haven't really used her in a while, but also because I do want her to learn Haste. Um, and even though this is not exactly the most useful spell, uh, some of the other ones that come afterwards are useful. Because after this, she learns Ice 2, which is pretty great. So, anyway, that's what I've been doing. And, of course, I've also, I also bought 99 tonics, because why not? 32 shelters, 99 mid-tonics, we're in, we're in good shape. So let us now proceed to the Tyranno Lair, uh, the next bigger, major dungeon. See what... Uh, our buddy Azla is up to. He seems to be the only one in this entire era that actually speaks in a comprehensive or uh, understandable language, I should say. So now, here is the Tyranno Lair. The fearsome place where, you, where all of our dreams come to die. So. Oh, we get to hear this music again. One of the best themes in the game for Tyranno Lair. So we've got a couple monkeys here. Oh, and uh, I guess we can... I'll, I'll, show, I'll show these guys. I do want to show off... Uh, Volt Bite, that's a fun one. We have a new type of Reptite. He uh, should be a little bit familiar to you. So, just use it on him, because as we all know, um, reptiles are weak to lightning. And now you can get to see, Chronos <laughs> uses lightning on Ayla, and she bites. She quite does. And as you can see, that does quite a bit of damage. Um, usually there's a little bit more, but... Anyway, we have these new weapons, which are actually quite good, um, if I recall. Like, just the attack power has in kind of increased on them. Oh yeah. Listen to that track. There are some in this game that are better, but this one's definitely up there. It's, it's, it's probably one of my top five favorite tracks in this game. It doesn't get any better than the, uh, the fierce boss music though. That is my personal favorite. And there's a couple of others in this game that you'll see as well. So, there we go. Yeah, 10 tech points, not bad. You'll be, uh, seeing that, that you're, uh, the, you're, you'll, the levels in this dungeon will go up quite frequently. So um, there's two uh, there's two places right here, and you want to go to this one first. This will uh, this is where our buddies are actually being kept at the moment. Uh, oh, gotta fight these two reptites right here. So let's take care of that. All right, perfect. So took care of those guys, and uh, let's let's let our friends out, shall we? Oh, just open this door, and out they go. All the little pur purple-headed dudes. Run, run! It's what you're good at. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was bad. All right, now I got to take care of these two guards right here. Yeah, so it's important to note that this dungeon probably has as many, at least as many battles as Magus's castle, but it's le it's less gimmicky. There's no, you know, statues or pits or stuff like that. It's it's a lot more straightforward. So, uh oh, the jailers getting bored. Hey, we're not apes. We're much more sophisticated than apes. I'll show you. All right, so just going to take care of these three guards right here. So I just used lightning two on those guys, and honestly, it's not really worth it that much. It does not that much damage. 
Um, but it does lower the defense of your uh, of Reptite, so if you want to use it, that's fine. But for the eight tech points, I don't think it's really worth it. Anyway, so it looks like Kino is <laughs> desperately banging on the bars. Let's see what he has to say. Yep, there he is. Ayla's gonna do it. She's gonna save you. Uh, I guess not. Those those uh those ivory bars are pretty strong, aren't they? Oh, you always could. Oh yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. You cl climb up there and just jump in. You could have tried that, Kino. I mean, come on. You're just you're letting this woman outclass you. Yep. Oh, Kino's such a whiner. They look related, but he's such a whiner. Ayla's if if they are related, Ayla's definitely the smarter sister. All right. What are you gonna do, Ayla? Put an end to it. Oh no. I, I, I'd be a little bit concerned if Ayla said that she was going to put an end to anything. It could be good, it could be bad. Uh, no, don't don't die, Ayla. We don't want that guy that is the new, uh, is the new uh, chief. Yeah, see how whiny he is? Can't, can't let him do that. Alright. Can you do it? Oh, there we go. Broken right through. Perfect. Woohoo. We saved Kino. Is that good? I don't know. Ayla's kicking ass, but Kino's got a pretty sloppy record at the moment. It's going to show us something. Hopefully, <laughs> as long as you keep your clothes on, Kino, that's what I'm concerned about. Oh, forgot about the... There is a, a little bit of a treasure back here, so... Uh, yeah, me either. Not, not that big of a concern, but still, it's something. Anyway, so... Yeah, Kino is going to uh, show us something valuable, hopefully. Man, that guy really knows how to run. Just like the Laruba villagers. Just really good at running. Not much else. So anyway, let's go through here. And, ah, there he goes. He opens up the passage. All right. Yep, Ayla is a good chief, man. We, I thought you already knew this. Anyway, so now we get to continue through the Tyrannal Lair. That was just the, that was just the dungeon part. And now we're going to get to the, the better stuff. So, all right. So this room right here, what you want to do is you want to step on one of these buttons right here. And it sends the uh, the monsters down. And I'm trying to remember exactly which way to go, but you want to do that in both cases. Otherwise, you have to end up fighting them. So let's give this this little place a shot first. All right, since so now we're out on the ledge. Okay, so now we got some new enemies. Um, well, not that guy. That's 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 our old friend, the Avian Rex. But uh, this battle is actually kind of fun. It's uh, it sort of depends on what happens. But those uh, volcanoes right there, they will just kind of erupt. And sometimes they will hurt you for very minimal damage, but if you actually let them uh, alone for a second, they will... Uh, we're going to wait till the second turn, because it's actually kind of funny what happens. They will actually attack themselves, and I will, I will show you exactly how this works. It's, it's, it's almost like you don't have to do any work. However, if you do provoke them, they will start attacking you, but... Alright, come on. Come on! I might, might as well use Aura World just to keep things up. Perfect. Yeah, I just, I do want to show this to you because it's one of the more, uh, I, w I wouldn't say imaginative battles, but it's one of the more unique ones. It's, 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 it's hard to find enemies that actually attack themselves, but this is definitely one of the circumstances, so. Come on. Use your little explosive things. Uh, come on! Don't keep us waiting. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you at some other point. But yeah, these volcanoes, they're pretty easy. Uh, later on, they actually are paired up with some Reptites, and the Reptites do kind of control their movements to a degree. But, there we go. He just volcanoed himself. Yep. Okay, I remember now. If you actually attack them, they go haywire, and they start attacking themselves. So, something to keep in mind. Woohoo! Levels up. Alright. So, uh, onwards with this uh, very intricate dungeon, actually. I'm kind of surprised about how long it's actually... Did it just freeze on me? Oh, I really hope it didn't just freeze on me. Okay, never mind. That was a little worrisome. Okay, but now this is uh, another battle. Okay, so that's why it froze up on me, because it took me a little longer to load that. All right, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, so let me take care of these dudes. All right, there we go. Yeah. Whew. That always scares me when, when that happens. Like, when you're at the end of a recording period for a video, or at least fairly close to it, and it's you, you think it freezes. Anyway, so... Um, Ooh, look, treasure. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a trapdoor. Well, well, well. And so, unfortunately, those enemies that we put down the cell last time are now right here. Uh, so, 
it's something you gotta be careful of. Sometimes I don't make that mistake. But now we have a slightly new enemy known as the Pterosaur. Uh, older cousin of um, one of the... Uh, uh, whatever it was called that we had to fight in the uh, in the little hole place the first time we were here. Remember these guys. Uh, but these guys, these pterosaurs are a little bit trickier. Because uh, if you remember when you fought uh, that one boss, he did the uh, re release electrical energy. These guys do the same thing. So you only have a limited amount of time between when you shock and when he does the electrical discharge. So it's best to try to kill him as fast as possible. You don't want this guy living. Because otherwise he will... He will hurt you in a bad way, and it won't be fun, so... Yeah, the, uh... <laughs> yeah, whatever the... I, I can't remember what the, what the name of the enemy was. It, 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 usually I'm pretty good at remembering the names of bosses, because I remember Hecron, I remember Magus, I remember Masa and Mune, but the, uh... Nisbel! That's right, yeah, okay, so... It does the same thing that Nisbel does. Something to keep in mind. And so... Yeah, it's that revives from shock, uh, the, the lower defense only lasts for so long. But thankfully, the Reptites do not um, use Electrical Discharge on you, which is really good. You know, it's th the longer you can live without Electrical Discharge, the happier uh, you are, so. Alright, we win! Hooray! Okay, so, that's taken care of. Yeah, we went, unfortunately, down the wrong, uh, the wrong little path, but that's okay. We can recover. So anyway, this is the same place we ended up last time. As you can see, you just walk up here. Um, actually, I do have to recover briefly, so just give me a sec. Ah, uh, my recording's staticky right now. It's always so annoying. Uh, thankfully, once we actually get this, it, it, once this, once you actually see the finished product of this, it'll be a lot better. So, anyway, onward and upward. You can just avoid those apes right there. Certainly, don't have to fight them. So this time you want to go to, yeah, once again, just step over here. Because if you if you ignore them, you actually have to fight them, and that's something you don't want to do again. Uh, but now we get to go to out here and just try to avoid these dudes. Pretty easy. You know, you can fight them if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay, this part is a little bit tricky. Yeah, um, you're in this kind of blacked out room, and sometimes you have to fight battles. So anyway, let's, let's take care of these guys. All right, so Marley did learn haste. Um, now that she's learned haste, what I think I'm going to do... Um, and let me just check up on her for a second. Because now she's actually uh, fairly caught up, and we can probably use Ice 2 later on. Uh, as well as Luca. Uh, yeah, Fire 2, she's well on her way there. Now what I want to do is I want to pull out what is essentially my favorite combo in the game. Or my favorite team, I should say. Uh, and everybody's got different opinions on this, but this is my personal favorite. And, and you'll see why for a variety of different reasons why uh, th these, these are my favorite. But yes, Frog, Ayla, and Chrono is amazing. Um, and later on, you're going to see that they not only have an awesome triple tech, but pretty soon, Ayla and Frog have this absolutely fantastic uh, dual tech that only costs one MP each called Slurp Kiss. It's one of the best healing techniques in the game. So, all right, Sarah Topper. And we'll be, we'll put, we'll be putting that on in a little bit. But so yeah, sometimes you'll end up in. I don't know how these teleportation devices work. I'm gonna try to get all these eggs, but no guarantees. Yeah, a tonic right here. Yeah, and this will this might take us over here. Okay, so that's that's the exit, uh, and now we're gonna be <laughs> fighting a battle. All right, so take care of these guys. All right, perfect. So uh, I just wanted to show you something briefly. Uh, we learned two double techs in that last battle. Uh, one of them is actually... Okay, so, here we go. We got Bubble Hit, which is essentially the same as um, the one that you... It, it's a similar one that you actually saw with Robo and Ayla. Uh, whatever it was. Uh, let me just let me just verify what it is. Uh, or or whatever, whatever the one that Frog actually had with... Yeah, there's Bubble Hit and Bubble Snap. He's the Bubble Snap with Robo. Bubble Hit with Ayla, same thing. But this is... And you'll, I'll demonstrate this in the next battle. Uh, 1 MP, 1 MP, and you actually are able to restore not only HP, but also your status effects as well. So, that is just totally awesome. So now we actually have, like, essentially three physical fighters, and they don't have... They might not have the best magic abilities, but they're still pretty good. So, um, let me try to see if I can get all of these items right here, because this is... Uh, this is such a pain. 
But I think... Oh, no, no, no. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I did not want to walk up those stairs. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. I may have to fight these battles again, but of course I will edit those out. So I just want to try to see if I can get all the treasures. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure there's a chart somewhere online. I just really don't feel like looking it up. So... Must have to give a trial and error. Okay, so there we go. Got a revive over here. That really wasn't worth it. It was not worth all the trouble to get that revive. But okay, that's. I don't think that that treasure's over there is really that significant. So let me just put on the the Ceratopper because that can be that can be kind of fun. Uh, let's see who can wear the Ceratopper. Yeah, might as well put on Chrono. Chrono's always a good person to have. Oh, I hate that when this happens. Sometimes the sound will literally go out on my recording. Uh, it was getting a little bit f fuzzy in the beginning, but uh, that's okay. That's something I can probably fix later on. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Anyway, so let's go on, go on out here. And this, unfortunately, is a place where we're going to be fighting a ton of battles. So uh, let's... Actually, I'm going to... I'll show this battle just for fun because um, even though we fought these enemies before, I do like to see, uh, you know, taking control of the volcano. See, when that guy kicks it, it'll start... It'll start spewing on you, but you can actually turn the tables um, by attacking one of those guys. So, and now it's going to spill on everybody else. So, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's so much fun. And so, what really, all you really have to do is attack the volcanoes. And even when they're done, Frog can just finish them off like that. So, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Good stuff. Yeah! Got the powerhouse. Powerhouse trio. So, uh, if you want, I mean, you can use these three for the remainder of the game, but I do like to, to switch it up every once in a while. I find that to be fun. Oh, crap, and here's, here's another enemy. So, we might be facing, actually, a series of battles, so I'll just take care of those. Okay, I guess that's it for the time being. I, I anticipated more of those, but then again, uh, yeah. <laughs> you just take a couple steps, and you're fighting a few more enemies, so uh, let me take care of these guys. All right, talk about cruising. Ayla learned Rock Throw, which gives her the Falcon Hit Dual Tech with Chrono, which is totally, completely awesome. Um, okay, so right here you actually want to hit the right button, I believe, and that opens the uh, the gate. And then you hit, hit this button right here, and you'll be able to open the gate, uh, the little, uh, yeah, the the little portcallis, I think that is called, um, in front of here. So let's try to go through. And uh, we're going to have a couple more battles. So, like I said, there's a lot of battles here. Uh, but, okay, l l let me just show you Falcon Hit. Because there's so many battles here, and because I'm going to have to be doing a lot of editing later on, um, I will give you guys a chance to see some of these really cool techniques. So, it's done um, in a pretty much a lateral line, like a horizontal line across the screen, is what you want to do. And so, it's not a relative thing. As long as there is a straight lane available, you can do that. And look how, look at the power on that thing. That is quite something. Um, lots of tech points, just fantastic. Uh, Frog's probably way on his way to learning Leap Slash, which I believe gives you another pretty good uh, double tech, but then again, I'm not sure. So, And then you try to walk up here, and you have to fight yet another battle, so uh, let me just take care of this. Alright. Um, anyway, so, oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, <laughs> Alright, so Nisbell's back, apparently. Um, alright, so let me just, uh, take care of... Well, actually, no, I, I think this is probably a good point, point to stop. So we've made it all the way through, or most of the way through the Tyranna layer. Um, haven't gotten all the way there yet, just so you guys know. Um, apparently Nisbel is here, he's flexing, doesn't really seem to be bothered by us. Uh, but what lies ahead? Where is this Azula person? And, uh, well... <laughs> Now you're going to get to enjoy a lot of new techniques, and actually in the next battle I'm going to be showing off uh, Slurp Kiss, or the next couple battles. So anyway, um, thanks, thank you guys for watching. This has been the Benjinator. Um, this is Let's Play Chrono Trigger, um, and so I'll see you next time.